the last two weeks have been pretty rough here on the homestead. It was actually terrible. I'm sick. Another note, I have quite a sad new, sad news to announce. He was actually, he was, yeah, he was my best friend. I feel like contrast is a very important part of the human experience. It would be hard to appreciate fully health without sickness, sunny days without storms, or joy without sadness. The last two weeks have been a reminder of all the things we take for granted most days, and I guess we are now, more than ever, aware of how good we have it most of the time. Let me walk you through what was the roughest two weeks of the year here at the cabin. Uh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> C'est tout. <laughs> um, as you can see, we have a new background now in our living room. Uh, I finally finished the mural a bit later than expected because The last two weeks have been pretty rough here on the homestead. Me and Rémi, we both got sick with, I don't know what, maybe COVID, maybe influenza or another virus, but it was pretty mean. It was more than a week and a half of fever for both of us and coughing and just having absolutely no energy. So we basically did nothing for the last two weeks, which is very unusual for us. I say we did nothing, but the truth is I've been crafting, crafting quite a bit. I revamped my old slippers that I've made from uh, felt and I've put a new layer of wool on top of them so they look brand new with dog hair, of course. Here they are. I've also been teaching myself how to knit socks, so I'm also doing that. I'm really happy with the result of the mural that I've created and what is really special for me about this project is um, usually I use reference pictures to help me create uh, semi-realistic um, images but for this I was really curious to see what I could come up with using just my imagination so that's what I did I just pictured an uh, enchanted forest in my mind and I tried to uh, represent it and I'm really happy with how it turned out really uh, especially that For the finishing touches, I was not feeling quite well. I really pushed through to have it finished so we can could finally uh, put the couch back to its place because as you may know, our house is not very big and <laughs> when we switch the, the furniture around, we just don't have room anymore. So it was um, becoming quite uh, annoying to have the couch in the middle of the living space. <laughs> so yeah.
time no see this week was terrible it was actually terrible we get sick we got sick like seven days ago and we are still in it and the weather changed drastically too last week we get stuck in the snow at the cabin but now it rained a lot yesterday and we get stuck on the ice all oh, the road become super super slippery now i'm just putting the ash from the wood stove on top of it so i can kill two birds with the same stone because i need to empty the wood stove and i have no other way to make this uh, hill not slippery because i don't know if you see it but it's hard to see on the camera but this hill is a hell in winter i mean there's basically no two-wheel drive car that can drive this and even four by four they always sleep in the bank and it's not very uh, wide road and over there just on the side there's a we can say a pretty big ditch and on the other side there's just rock everywhere so if a car cannot be made up it usually go down and you don't decide the way <laughs> that it happens so ash does a very good job to make ice less slippery because if the ice was like with that with the track in it and tractor track like this that's not slippery i mean a tire can easily fight on this and go up the hill but the problem when it's raining a lot and the the ground is frozen it's just become like a, a ice skating red bull party <laughs> okay and the ash i just put a small layer of it and it bound directly with the ice and now the, this uh, ash is pretty hot because the wood stove was not completely off so it bound uh, again more the, the ice normally reflect the, the heat of the sun but the ash absorb it and it make melt the ice a little bit and it become less slippery almost not slippery so i will finish that and i don't know maybe i will go on the bed again and we will see you one day or I don't know when actually because each day of the week we said ah oh, it's probably the last day that we feel like this but the morning the next morning revealed itself and it was terrible again so okay I will finish this task and go see Nuini oh. each task is so much harder when you are sick man On another note, I have quite a sad new, sad news to announce. Our elder dog cowboy passed away uh, two days ago, and yeah, we we are still pretty sad about it. He was 18 years old, which is quite old for a big dog like that. But still, even if we knew that day was coming, it was still really hard, and I feel sad. It, feels kind of empty now when I wake up in the morning and he's not there as he used to. Yeah. I miss him and Remy miss him also. Yeah, our dogs are like family members to us and we live with them every day of the week and we we basically never leave them so when when one of them isn't there it's it's uh, it's different you know i it's like losing a good friend
I can really say that Cowboy was my best friend. He joined he joined my life when I was 18 years old. So now it's 10 years ago. And since, since that time he never left my side. He was always there. Always happy to have a new adventure. <clears throat> We crossed the Canada three times together by camper, by truck, and yeah. He was always the dog happy to be there and happy to come with us. Always there when we were sad, always. He was actually, he was, yeah, he was my best friend. It's always, it's always sad when your best friend leave forever but his journey was over and I think that he had a good life with us and yeah we love him Cowboy was a party dog I mean he was enjoy it so much the campfire he was always the first there and the last to go to bed too and often when everybody go to bed after a party or just a, fa a small fire outside cowboy would stay there until the fire de die and sometime the next morning he was still he was still around the campfire and just chilling there I don't know this dog was very special we did we did boat together we did rallying together we did mountain climbing now it's the time for a new adventure and he will always live in my in my memories he will be always with us These two weeks have been interesting to say the least. It was uh, difficult physically because of the, the flu and all that, but it was also sad. But now we start to feel a bit better. Um, I'm still pretty low energy and I think Remy as well, but we definitely feel uh, less sick than, than we used to. On a happier note, I've been working on a very special commission uh, the last couple months. It, it was requested from one of you lovely subscribers. <laughs> What's nice about this commission is that it's gonna be a Christmas surprise for one of you. And so I won't tell any names <laughs> in this video, but I will share a little bit of the artwork and also the process of me creating it. And the nice thing is uh, it comes with a message and I'm gonna read it to you right now. My beloved, since the day we first met, I've always loved you. Through the dark times and into the light, my feelings for you have only grown stronger. Watching you grow as the love of my life, I would not change a thing. Daily, I watch you suffer immense pain and I'm powerless to do anything. My only wish is that I could take away your pain even for one moment. I live for your smile and when you can once again create the art that fuels your passions. I asked for this owl to be brought to life to watch over you when I'm away, so my love is always there for you until once again I return to hold you in my arms. The love of your life. So, there's a very lucky person who will receive this commission that was requested with a lot of love and lo lots of light and I'm really happy to be the, the messenger <laughs> for this lovely gift. Life and death are two sides of the same coin. 
This whole world is made up of dualities and as hard as it might be to say goodbye to an old friend, we know that at the end of a life cycle, another one begins. Everything is temporary, the good as well as the bad, and the only thing we can do about it is embrace each moment with every ounce of our being and be aware that maybe what makes flowers so beautiful is to know that they will wilt. Now go and get off your screen, hug your friends and family, be present doing what you love, and I wish you all a wonderful week.